I am Jessica Olam and I own Hops and Dubs. It started with a pile of feed sacks that I had been collecting. I really like the graphics and they seemed so special when I would come across them that I would just, you know, steal them for so long. I collect all kinds of stuff, but this in particular is like, I want to do something with it, but it really took a lot of guts to cut that first one and it made a pillow. And I was like, oh, I like this pillow. And then friends like the pillow, and then I took them to my first market, along with my photographs, which I went to college for photography. And the pillow sold out within like five minutes of opening, so I knew, you know, this is probably, maybe I should try this for a little bit. So, once I got back in, into the swing of sewing, I was like, well, if I can make a pillow, maybe I can make a headband. If I make a headband, maybe I, you know, and it just, like, one thing led to another, and it really was, like, the bag was the ultimate, like, oh, man, if I can make a bag, that's going to be really cool. And I made my bag, and I loved it, and then from there, it was just trying to teach myself new things and work with new materials, and it's progressed pretty quick. Sometimes it's really hard knowing that it was somebody else's. It's hard to cut it up. Especially, you know, when they have, uh, like, hand lettering on it. But I also feel like I found them at a flea market. Somebody has thrown them away, probably. So I really like the idea of turning what is potentially somebody's trash into something now that people want to wear every day. And things that are really, really durable that are going to last for a really long time. 